right, so I got a little pop culture story that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So get this. Cardi B could be going vegan with a little help from Drew Barrymore. More specifically, Cardi asks, I want to go vegan, but I love meat. Are vegan meat replacements similar to meat in taste or not really? And Drew, a former vegetarian who now identifies as being a flexitarian, more on that some other time, <laughs> well, she replied back saying, yes, Cardi, I have the answer to your meat-free dreams. Corn US has changed my life. I'm sending you some immediately. P.S. Love you. Fangirl moment. Um, Cardi B. Uh, hi, my name is Drew. I'm one of your biggest fans ever. And I didn't dream that I would be reaching out to you. Hi. Okay. So Cardi went on to reveal that she hasn't really been digesting food too well, especially red meat and was looking for alternatives despite being a meat eater. And you know, I found this question interesting because I had some questions myself recently. When I made the choice to take on a new challenge in my fitness and lose a little bit of weight, I was contemplating going vegan for 30 days. But here's the thing, there was only one problem. I love meat. I even tried to experiment buying some meatless options, and although they were good, it simply wasn't the same. So it had me thinking. Everyone in the fitness world touts how wonderful going vegan and vegetarian is and how it's somehow superior to meat-inclusive diets, but should everyone be on them? Well, I'm here to tell you the answer is no. And if you're thinking about jumping on the meatless bandwagon, here are some things to determine if it's right for you. Number one, just because it's meatless, it doesn't make it healthy. Sure, we all need more fruits and veggies in our diet, right? But meat and fish play crucial roles as well. You see, the problem with meat replacements like the ones Drew recommended is that they are highly, highly processed. So in order for you to simply replace the meat items you crave, you end up swapping it for foods that have tons of additives and food creation gymnastics is what I call them, that may actually may or may not agree with your body. Many of these replacements have soy and wheat as the main ingredients, and that can cause digestive issues for those more sensitive to them. Number two, just because it's meatless, it doesn't make it better. Now here's the truth. Humans have evolved for thousands of years eating meat. The problem is that in today's world, we have food in abundance, food that's easy access and food that is often prepared in ways that are totally unhealthy for us. A lean cut of top sirloin pan seared or grilled is far more healthy and beneficial to the body than a fast food hamburger or even healthy meatless products like Beyond Beef. Here, let's look at them side by side. For instance, Beyond Beef has more fat, added carbs, and is highly processed versus its meat counterpart. If we looked at corn versus actual chicken breast, we can see a similar breakdown on what's healthy and not. Number three, just because it's meatless, it doesn't mean it's right for you. Now I'm going to smash the facade and simply tell you straight up, as a sports nutrition specialist who has written several thousand diets for men and women from around the globe, meatless isn't right for everyone. I mean, sure, if you want to get healthier and you want to clean up your diet overall, a meatless approach may be good for you. But that's not a requirement for weight loss and definitely not a requirement for eating better. What happens to most people when they embark on a meatless path is that they start being more conscious about their food choices and what they're putting into their bodies. They clean up the diet, they start counting calories and tracking foods and make a conscious effort to eat better. The truth is you could have done that and should be doing that when you're eating meat as well. Now, you'll have some folks that'll say, well, what about the hormones in the meat, Roxy, huh? And to that I say, well, what about the pesticides used in farming, GMO produce introduced to the food industry, or depleted soil used time and again to grow our food? 
everything has its what about. And as with anything, there are plenty of organic meat and vegetable options for those concerned with hormonal and chemical contamination. Now there is one caveat to this. If you're someone who is genuinely having issues with digesting meat, particularly if this is all of a sudden, then perhaps going meatless is a great option for you. And to that, I would say to run to your doctor to find out what's the cause and what could be bringing on sudden digestive issues. And if you determine that being meatless is indeed right for you, go ahead and check out this next video.